What's up guys? What's up everybody? Welcome to the Smiths, welcome to our channel, and welcome to our rock. Our rock. Chickens are gone, mm -hmm. bees are gone. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything's gone. The dogs are still here, yeah. and the cat. Mm -hmm. Next episode, we're gonna say goodbye to this house for good, clear it, get all the animals out, the dogs and the cat, and the hamster. And the hamster alley. And the kids. We'll completely clear this house and we'll be done. And then we'll tell you about where we're going to be living for a while. Yep. And we thought that it'd be good for this episode to sit on our rock, our trusty rock that we've we've sat on. I'm sit sitting on my phone actually too, so I'll get that right here. <laughs> we've answered and a piece questions. of tape. Um, yeah, we've sat on this rock and answered questions several times mm -hmm. with you guys, and this will be the last time we sit on this rock. And then we'll be looking for a new rock. I know. We gotta find a new spot. Or a new spot to. There's so many spots out there, so. Yeah, to answer questions, so. Don't you love it when the good guys win? All right, so I pulled these questions from socials. Just want to get into it? Yep. Okay. Where are you moving and how much land? Okay. Um, we're moving it's about 20, 20, minutes. 20 minutes from here. Yep. And then I had somebody tell me when I was younger, I remember asking a rancher, a cattle rancher in Texas, how much, how many acres he had. And he said, son, you never ask somebody how many acres they got. The same as you'd never ask how much money they got in their bank account. <laughs> All right. It's perfect for us. Yeah. It's not a lot and it's not small. It's perfect for what we need. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to most about the move? The land. Yes. Um, beautiful land. It's very peaceful, very tranquil. Um, we're living in a barn that's gonna be a new adventure. I'm not looking, I'm pretty much the only thing I'm not looking forward to is the heat. Okay. It's really hot. You. Um, what am I looking forward to? Um, I think knowing that we have a spot that we're planning to be, like we always talk about, we live for today, we can plan for tomorrow, we live for today, but I think knowing going in that this is gonna be the spot that we're gonna be at for a while and hopefully build a house and and then move into that house and, and be there for a long time. Yep. So I think just the, just, being settled yeah. again here we I don't think we ever really truly got settled so yeah. yeah and so back on what you're not looking forward to I asked the kids today someone said how are the kids doing with the move they're super excited about it the only thing that they said they're not excited about is the bugs both of them oh, said the bugs, bugs. <laughs> there's lots of bugs in the barn well um, my grand my uh, my grandmother told me that when she was a little girl in West Texas her mother was always sweeping mm -hmm. always sweeping and they had a dirt floor so she was literally sweeping a dirt floor. Minnie still does that when she comes to our house. She's always, she always sweeps. And we're not gonna be too far from sweeping a dirt. We're gonna be sweep, sweeping a barn floor. Yeah. And, and we got- But I did get a shark vacuum. And I'll vacuum up all the roly polies. We're, we're gonna be shark vacuuming <laughs> a barn floor. Yeah. Lots of roly polies. So, oh, sorry, sorry side note. I, let me know, comment below if it's like this where you live. But in Texas, we go through seasons of bugs. Mm -hmm. So like right now it's roly polies, roly -polies. everywhere, yeah. and then it'll turn into maybe it's kind of June, bu June bugs. It could be June bugs, and then it could turn into crickets. Yes. And then it could turn into spiders. Then it can turn into mayflies. Then it can turn into uh, whatever. But it's always a new season, and they're all out. Mm -hmm. So we're in the roly poly yep. phase right now. Um, what is something that you will miss about your current home? What is something that we'll miss about this place? Air conditioning. <laughs> I think it was just, it was tranquil. And it, and moving here, moving to the new land is a different kind of piece. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful piece of wildflowers. And, but for some reason here, I just felt it was like a little retreat, like a spa getaway kind yeah. of. We had fountains and, like and things like that. Place. It was like a little vacation place. So I think yeah. I'm, I'll miss that a little bit, but not enough to stay. Yeah. Um, do you guys ever have to buy eggs? <laughs> no, we have 50 on our counter right now. So many eggs. So if you need any farm fresh eggs, let me know. Um, how do you deal with social media negativity? That was a weird jump to that question. How do you uh, deal with social um, media negativity? 
in gen I don't know if that question was just in general or towards us. Um, yeah, so I actually, I don't know if that means negativity towards the world. They probably meant when people say hateful things to us. Okay. Um, I don't read that much anymore. Yeah. I've learned just to not read. Like, she goes through everything, and I'm just like, how do you read all that? I, I just, I don't. I it's just easier don't. for him not to not um, read like his DMs and things like that. He just can go down a rabbit hole. But I, I like to try to read my DMs and, and talk to you guys. But and 90, 99% of the time, they're all great. But then it's like there's that one percent where it is. Awful. Last night, like someone a terrible message. Last night, someone went at her saying, "How could you support Yee Yee? It's that's a racist organization or yeah. racist something." Yeah, they, like, <laughs> they. She said she had many encounters with people who who were wearing Yee Yee that are racist, and I just said, "Well, that's not what our brand represents." I said, "And I'm sorry that you had that that encounter, but I can't control what other people do if they're wearing our apparel, you know." But I said, "That's not what what Yee Yee is you, to us, and that's not the majority of Yee Yee Nation." I said, "Did you ask them if they're wearing?" Hanes underwear? Does that make Hanes a racist company? Because they're, yeah. I know. Anyway, so anyway, um, he that, so he always tells me, why do you read that stuff? But I like to communicate with you guys. I like to get involved, and um, but sometimes, yeah, it, there's negative energy, and a lot, and sometimes I just respond back with love. That's all you can do. If it, you know, I don't respond back with hate. I just respond back with love. Because if people are going to be negative and rude and ugly, that's something wrong in their own heart. Yeah. And I just. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I just respond with love or not respond at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, let's see. If you guys get a date night, what is your favorite thing to do? Eat food. Yes. Um, we used to see movies a lot. We used to love to go to movies. Usually a date night for us is super simple. It's dinner, it's talking, it's possibly an alcoholic adult beverage, and just getting to talk to each other because we don't really ever get to do that. And after after extreme grief in our family, extreme loss, no movies or TV shows are worth it anymore. Mm -mm. Except for like The Office. Yeah. Like we started, started watching. We started beginning. watching The Office season one just because, like I said on my podcast yesterday with Nick Irving, it's like chicken noodle soup. You know, it's like it's like um, chicken and dumplings for the brain to watch. Comfort food. For Comfort the brain. food for the brain because. Um, we literally turned on Westworld season two yeah. and the opening scene there was a drowning. Yeah. And, and of course we're more sensitive she, to it And now. you just bawled and it was like, yeah. okay, picking something else to watch. So we can't, we used to watch shows all the time. We don't anymore. Yeah. And I used to watch trashy reality TV all the time and I don't anymore. And I know maybe, and Granger told me the other day, he goes, you know what you need? I was kind of stressed out. He said, you need just to go sit and watch just trash TV and just let your brain go and relax. And I just haven't watched that. You know, I just trying to fill my mind with, not that there's anything wrong with it, because I, I still like it, I just trying to fill my mind with hope and books and and things that will give me hope and courage to keep going and to move forward, not just mindless things, I guess. Um, I'll get back to it yeah. someday. Do you feel that the loss of river has brought you too closer? Uh, has it? Yeah, of course. I mean, how can you not? It's something like that is either gonna drive a wedge in between you or it's gonna bring you closer than you've ever been. I feel like it's brought us closer. Closer in different ways, but. We were already We were already really, really close. close. We were so, already really close and there was a lot more smiling. Yeah, there I'll was. I'll say that. The spark, we, there's a lot, a lot more sparkle, I guess. Yeah. We still I, smile and laugh. It's just we're different and we will be different forever. Yeah. But um, it's brought us closer in talking about hard things and trusting each other and closer to god and together closer to god spiritually together for sure yeah, for sure like we'll yeah. we'd like talk bible, bible verses at night now <laughs> we didn't do that no we never ago. did no we like, would hey, be Stuart... reading uh, in samuel and it's talking about david <laughs> that's what we do before bed yeah. talk about what the bible means and why we don't understand and um is it easy to put your trust fully in god no for me is it easy no it's not easy. It's 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 not a natural thing for most people to do, but it's it brings on so much peace, you know, in your heart when you can fully trust, just fully say, yeah. God, this is you have this. We trust you, rather than going crazy in your mind. It brings on a a, a peace. It's huge. It's rewarding. Yeah. yeah, you feel that gratitude, that reward coming back to you. 
Um, but yeah. it's a leap of faith and it's difficult. It's not, if it was easy, then the whole world would do it. Yeah. Um, but it's not, it's actually very difficult to have faith in the unseen mm -hmm. and to believe and trust in the unseen. Um, and so you just have to have blind faith and then you feel that reward coming back to you. I agree. So I guess based on that, people said, would you Granger ever do uh, like a Christian series like My Rise? Would you ever think about talking, comment, talking, comment below. talking faith, talking scripture, talking Bible stuff? I, I, he fascinates me with what, because you studied religion and, and stuff in college. Um, anyway, he just has very, very deep views on religion and Christianity and God. And so I enjoy listening to him. So I know people would enjoy listening to you too. Yeah, I don't know. Comment below if I needed something else to do. <laughs> I know, he's too busy. Don't don't recommend anything <laughs> else. Um, let's see. Have you ever cried playing a song live? Yeah, several times. First time I played Tractor, like it was a long time for Tractor. Uh, Bury Me in Blue Jeans used to be that way for me. Um, the very first song, uh, uh, Five More Minutes, We Bleed Maroon. There's been moments in We Bleed Maroon. Um, especially when my dad died and it was uh, I hear my father and his dad before and then all kinds of things with Riv you know heaven bound balloons and um, uh, City Boy Stuck which is his favorite and you're in it those were his favorites you know so like playing City Boy Stuck and you're, and you're in it were like hard for a while um, but yeah I do I try to hide it for sure yeah. how did you how did Lathan Warlick get your attention yeah, I was hoping that would come up because um, today we released a song, uh, a remix of That's Why I Love Dirt Roads, mm -hmm. and Lathan wrote a whole verse to it. So if you haven't heard that, um, jump over to my Granger YouTube and you could hear it streaming. It should be the latest video. And then if you have heard it, what do you think? Um, because it's very, very different for me to do something like this, but I was inspired to do it. And it's not like it's gonna be a, my new style or, you know, but it was just um, it's something I felt inspired to do for that one time. And Amber, one night, she found Lathan on Instagram and literally we were just laying in bed and, and I was like, what are you looking at? And she's like, this guy, he, he just puts these lyrics to different songs. And, and we saw the one about Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was the first one I saw. So if you go to Lathan's page, his Instagram page, you can go and find the one about Kobe. Back and in January. I forgot what it, how he titled it, but it was when Kobe Bryant died in the helicopter crash. And I, man, I heard that and I was like, my eyes welled up and I was like, this guy's so talented. So I instantly friended him and DM'd him and just said, man, I love your stuff. I'm very moved by this. Would you ever be interested in collabing with me? And he messaged right back and was like, yes. And we were off to the races. We became text friends. We've still <laughs> never met. We're going to meet, I think, next week. I think that he's going to come with the whole family oh, really? to, to Georgetown. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. We talk about taking the boys fishing and stuff. Yeah, and we'll shoot a music video. Um, but, but yeah, we've hit we hit it off right from the beginning, and I just felt like um, there was a reason we're together. So yeah. comment below what you think of that song. It's also on every other way you could find music. Um, when is the new album coming? September. I believe it's the end of September. It's in the 20s, I believe. It's gonna, it's gonna have like 16 songs on it. <laughs> I'm so excited, they're so good. 16, so yeah. they're slowly being finished. I'm gonna go after this and go sing on another one and slowly chopping it down, chopping the wood. All right, will we do a house tour if we build a house when it's finished? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're, and we're gonna do a full tour of the land. Yeah, um, and the I'm RV Just too. writing it down, I believe that's a week from when you're watching this, we're going to do a full tour of, or maybe something. But yeah, we're going to do it. We'll do it. We'll tour all that stuff. And um, this Friday, we're going on tour. Like playing music. Like <laughs> concert. <laughs> With people. With people. Not in cars. A concert in Tyler, Texas. Can y'all believe that? I'm so pumped. And so we're, that'll be one of these Smith vlogs. We'll and do that. And what's it called? Like, uh, oh, it's called Country River. Country River. First one Country back. River is the name of the club we're going to first. And then we'll be like in San Antonio and, so, and, um, and 4th of July and like... Arlington? I think Arlington? that's in July now. Okay. Anyway, dude, can you believe it? We're actually playing shows yeah. starting Friday. Gosh. 
It's a miracle. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. So I'll take the camera and I'll follow us around. Um, do we need to say anything about apparel? Or on the next episode? Yeah, that's, um, uh, that is Friday too. Yes. June 12th is the summer launch. And summer you guys launch. have heard us talk about it. These launches are becoming a bigger and bigger deal as we stop holding on to inventory at EE Apparel. Mm -hmm. We're, we're stopping the Walmart system of holding on to tons of stuff year round and we're just, so we're bulking up for each launch. So what I mean to say is it's all gonna sell out and it just goes on sale at 10 a.m. and then it's gonna all sell out and we're done, so. We ordered extra this time because we sold out so quick last time. We did order extra, but it's still gonna sell out. So make sure you get on at 10. And I even think we did a new thing where, um, there's gonna be like a, a countdown clock to be able to check out so people can't take things out of your cart. I think, yeah. we, I think we did that, yeah. so, so hopefully. 10 a.m., yeah. yeegee.com or yeegeeapparel.com. That's this Friday. And um, set your alarms. Part of the proceeds are gonna benefit the River Kelly Fund yep. this, uh, this launch, so make sure you get some. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's all we got. Okay, all so right. uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button. And hit that little like button, and then the next episode you're gonna see the chickens, which I literally just moved. They're gone, and I cannot wait for you to see their new place. Uh, the bees, you, they're all gone, and I can't wait to see for you to see how we did it. Yeah. And, um, and then you'll get to see- Dogs and cats. We'll empty this house completely, and it'll be the final walkthrough. It'll probably be saying goodbye to our old home or something like that, so. Yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah. That's why I love dirt roads. That's why I love dirt roads.